हेलो दोस्तों हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू गाइस दोस्तों दोस्तों टुडे टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट लूप्स राइट बट बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी मेक श्योर टू हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड द नोटिफिकेशन बेल सो यू नेवर मिस ऑफ माय फ्यूचर वीडियोस एंड now let's jump right into loops right so first is for loops right so for loops are used to iterate over a sequence such as a list a string or range a specific number of times right so they have a predefined structure first for variable in sequence for example for right i is variable in range is 1 to 6 get it and print i and i range is 1 to 6 so output is print 1 to 5 get it so the syntax for a for loop in cell scripting is as follows first for variable in list and do then done right so so this is uh, the syntax for for loop right so the list can be a sequence of item separated by space right or it can be command that generates a list of items the variable is a user defined variable right and that holds each item from the list from each iteration right so here a second real example let's say you have a directory containing multiple images file and you want to resize each image using an image and processing tools called convert right so first you write bin bash then for image file in jpg format right so do right and then convert image file resize this and then email resize dot jpg and then done so in this example above the script iterates over all the images files with the jpg extension right so in the current directory for each iteration the script uses the convert command to resize the image file and save it with a new file name append with resize dot jpg get it so this process is repeated for each image file in the directory so you can modify the example based on your specific needs for example uh, like you can change the file extension specify a different commands for, or perform any action or the items in the list so by utilizing the for loop in cell scripting you can efficiently automate repetitive tasks and process multiple items effortlessly right um, so a second is while loop so loops repeatedly execute a block of code as long as a specified condition is true so they have the following st structure right so first is while and then condition so i is equal to 1 while i is greater than equal to 5 so print i right and i plus sign it means increment and equal to 1 so it prints 1 to 5 get it so the syntax for a while loop in cell scripting is as follows first while condition then do done right so the condition is a test that is evaluated before each iteration of the loop if the condition is true so the code block is executed and the loop continues if the condition is false so the loop terminates and the program execution continues with the next statement after the done keyword get it so here an example let's say you want to count countdown from 5 to 1 and display a message for each count right so first you use counter equal to 5 then while counter is greater than 0 so echo countdown and then counter so counter is equal to dollar symbol and then counter minus 1 and then done so echo blast off so it means in the example above the script initialize a variable counter with a value of 5 the while loop is executed as long as the condition counter greater than 0 is true right so which means the value of counter is greater than 0 inside the loop right so it echoes a message showing the current value of counter and then decrements counter by 1 get it so this process continues until counter reach 0 get it 
So after the loop, the script echoes blast off to indicate the completion of the countdown. So you can modify the example based on your specific needs. For example, you can change the initial value of counter, right? Modify the condition or include additional code inside the loop. So while loop and cell scripting are useful for executing a block of code repeatedly until a certain condition is no longer true get it so this is the very important thing like uh, key condition is no longer true so they provide flexibility and control over the flow of your script get it so third one is until loops so in many programming languages until right loops are not a separate constructor however you can achieve the same functionality using a while loop with a negated condition so the loop continues until the condition becomes true so here an example of an until loop equivalent to the previous while loop so first is i is equal to 1 until i is greater than 5 then print i and i increment equal to 1 so output is print 1 to 5 get it so the syntax of an until loop in cell scripting is as follows first until condition then do then done so first the condition is a test that is evaluated before each iteration of the loop if condition is false so the code block is executed and the loop continues if the condition becomes true so the loop terminates the program execution continuous with the next statement after the done keyword here an example uh, right let's say you want to promote the user to enter a positive number and keep promoting until a valid input is provided right it so number is zero until number is greater than zero so do read half and p enter a positive number and then number right so done echo you entered number so basically in this example the script initialize the variable number with a value of zero the until loop is executed as long as the condition number is greater than zero is false right so which means the value of number is not greater than zero so inside the loop it promotes the user to enter a positive number using the read command get it and the input is assigned to the variable number so if the input is not a positive number the loop continues and promotes again once a valid positive number is entered so the loop terminates right so and the script displayed the input value so you can modify the example based on your specific needs for instance right so you can change the condition promote the user for different input or include additional code inside the loop so while there is not a direct until loop in cell scripting using a while loop with a negated condition achieves the same functionality allowing you to repeatedly execute a block of code until a specific condition becomes true get it so third one is sorry fourth one is a loop control statement so first is break so the break statement is used to exit a loop right so it is typically used when a certain condition is met and you want to stop the loop execution immediately for example let's say you want to print the number from 1 to 10 but stop the loop when the number is 6 encountered get it so first for i in range 1 to 11 print i get it if i is equal to 6 then break right so output is print 1 to 6 and then the uh, loop is break right so second is continue so the continue statement is used to skip the remaining code within a loop iteration and move to the next iteration for example let's say you want to print the numbers from 1 to 5 but skip printing the number 3 so for i in range 1 to 6 and then if i is equal to 3 then continue print i 
so one uh, output is 1 to 5 get it so this example demonstrate the uses of different types of loops and loop control statement they provide a basic understanding of how loops work and how you can control their flow using break and continue statement get it so thank you all for watching this video to quickly recap we discussed in this video is loop control system and for loop while loop right so uh, hopefully you find the information useful and learn something new if you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts please leave a comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this we appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and have a fantastic day